Metabolic syndrome is generally defined as some combination of metabolic problems, generally three or more of the following. Uh, increased waist circumference, high blood pressure, high glucose, uh, disordered lipids, which can be either a high triglyceride level or a low HDL cholesterol. Well, th there has been a lot of research lately about the Mediterranean diet. It's been shown to promote good health outcomes in adults. And a cornerstone of that is uh, nut consumption. And nuts themselves have been linked to positive health uh, improvements in adults. And as a pediatrician, I was wondering, well, are these links also present in adolescents? Well, we use data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which is an annual survey run by the CDC. And we use data from that uh, survey to find out that, number one, uh, teenagers who consume more than the equivalent of about one handful of nuts three times per week have much better health parameters than teenagers who do not eat that much. And specifically, that means they have uh, a smaller waist circumference, improved levels of good cholesterol, uh, also lower blood pressure, and <clears throat> they have about 40% uh, of the risk of metabolic syndrome compared to teenagers who don't eat nuts. There was also a second major finding that we found, which was that in spite of what we are learning about the health benefit benefits of nuts, uh, teenagers in the U.S. eat a very small amount of nuts, and in fact more than three quarters eat no nuts at all on a typical day. Well, nuts are known to have several components that could promote better health outcomes. Number one is they are relatively high in fiber, which could enhance feelings of fullness or satiety. Uh, they also have a good amount of healthy fats, things like mono and polyunsaturated fats. They also contain compounds called uh, polyphenols or phytosterols, which may independently have health-promoting effects. In our study, we look specifically at tree nuts, peanuts, and also seeds, because they are all nutritionally similar. Uh, we included nut butters, things like peanut butter and almond butter, but we excluded things like nuts that are found in candies, and things like pecan pie, and chocolate covered, and candied nuts, things like that. I think what our research highlights is that um, as an adult, nut consumption appears to be linked to these uh, health promoting benefits, and specifically for adolescents, I think uh, our findings suggest that when we do encounter an adolescent who may be obese and may have a disordered lipid panel, um, high triglycerides or low HDL, that it's reasonable to inquire about their nut intake. And furthermore, in the context of a balanced and healthy diet, if they are not eating any nuts, to perhaps suggest that they grab a handful of nuts a few times a week.